Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and this reading is for Water Signs uh, for Christmas Day, December 2020, Christmas Day for the year 2020. Um, again, this is for Water Signs, Cancer, Cancers, Scorpios, and Pisces. This reading may or may not resonate with you. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and um, just start the reading. I was, I was, uh, I had to start in this video. I had to, to, um, like start over three times because, um, my kids was like yelling and screaming and saying my names. I'm saying they name. It was just a, a mess a little bit before I started doing this reading. And I tried three times, so they say three times is the charm. So, um, water signs, uh, from the little bit I just went through even trying to do y'all video and looking at y'all spread, y'all might go through a little, um, a little bit of something on Christmas Day. Something that's annoying, basically. I mean, it don't gotta be nothing major, but it's gonna be annoying as hell. Um, cause I just went through something annoying as hell. <laughs> but anyway, and y'all got two towels and y'all spread. So we gonna see exactly when I get to it. But anyway, I'm gonna just go ahead. Um, this community card is what's crowning your energy for Christmas day. This community card. And we'll get to that when I get to it. And this is what else spirit wanted you to know. Or what you can expect for Christmas Day. The, actually, no. This card is something you needed to know. Like something else you needed to know. So, Turkey came out. And Turkey is someone behaving stupidly. So, we're going to get to that when I get there. I'm going to just go ahead right in. What's going on? Um, so, the bottom part. The first half what came out. First card that came out. Messenger of Air. Y'all noticed the... Uh, this my... Uh, Police card, card, the um, cause this is um basically the Knight of uh, Swords. So the Knight of Swords is my um police, po the police, the police card. Um, the Knight of Swords can be someone rushing in, causing a scene, causing an argument, accusing you of stuff, trying to fight you. You know, basically. Causing the scene and, and not really caring who around. That's the Knight of Swords energy sometimes. And sometimes this Knight of Swords or this Messenger of Air could be that a person rushed into a situation. Like somebody rushed into a relationship. Somebody rushed and got married. So the Knight of Swords cannot, don't necessarily have to be a person. It could be an action. And the action was like speed. Somebody rushed into something. So that's what the Knight of Swords can mean. What clarified Messenger of Air, aka Knight of Swords, was the Queen of Chalices, Queen of Cups, Water Signs. This Queen of Cups is um, intuitive, very mature emotionally. And because she's mature emotionally, that's one of the reasons why she's intuitive. And it's a water sign. Or oh, don't well this represents water, a water sign. Don't have to be a water sign person, but it's representing a water sign. When I asked for more information about that messenger of air, the Knight of Swords, strength came out. This is Leo energy. This is the major arcana for the sign of Leo. This strength card could be someone who have um Strength, like strength, someone who's very strong, they are capable of taming themselves. And if this person or whatever can't tame themselves, this could be the universe taming you. Like, you, you know, taming. Self-control, that's what the strength um, card could represent. What clarified the strength card was the star. 
This is major arcana for a sign of Aquarius. And the star could mean someone who is hoping, have hope. Someone who is praying, prayer. Someone who is healing. This could mean relaxation, meditation. You know, just something to refresh or revive. Um whatever you need to, to to be revived or refreshed from yeah so like i said this could be hope and prayer things like that things that's refreshing or give you hope so off the rip before i clarify what i'm getting from this is what are signs you could probably want to rush into something i don't necessarily think this is um uh you being violent or you know running up on somebody starting an argument starting a fight i think this is you wanting to rush something but because of your intuition i believe you're going to restrain yourself i'm gonna clarify that message of air that knight of swords but it is looking like you want to rush into something, but you intuitively know you shouldn't, or at least not for a sp some, at least not for the time being. That's what it's looking like. Cause sometimes the strength card could um restrain put restraints on this knight of swords the strength card could stop this night this um message of air this knight of swords energy so i think you intuitively whatever this knight of swords card is i think you're not gonna do it or you can't do it because like i said the star card and strength card is major arcana cards. And this is God being in control. The major arcana is God, you know, him being in control. So this could be the universe, God, stopping you. And you know intuitively that he's stopping you. Now, this could be you taming yourself, stopping yourself, or... It could be God doing it. And I believe because something was tamed or somebody has some type of self-control, I believe there is some type of healing taking place because of the strength card. Somebody could need the strength to heal. But let me go ahead and clarify. Clarify messenger of the air. Ooh. Mm, yeah, shark came out. Yep. It the shark card say take take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Yeah, yep. This is about finances. Take care, cause or there will be a loss of material wealth. Mm hmm. So water signs, you probably like I said, this is about an action you wanted to take, and it was probably concerning money. But your intuition kicked in, and I think you restrained you ref, you you didn't do it. I think, yeah, because that um messenger of air or that knight of swords is um yeah, it got something to do with material wealth, a loss. So it could be saying if you would have rushed and did something, or this is something you could have did in the past and. You need the strength to heal from it. This Knight of Swords energy, and it could be you being intuitive and figuring out that you shouldn't have done this. It's either one of those situations. If this messenger of ear is something in the past, you probably did it already. And your intuition is telling you that was the problem. Like you rushed. You did something too fast. And it could have caused some type of... um lost to material some type of material wealth whether it's money a car an investment 
or um, this is happening on or around Christmas Day, and you restr you 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 didn't do it. It's either one of those. Let me clarify. Hmm. Clarify strength. Clarify strength. Clarify strength card. Ooh. A lot of cards came out. But I'm going to get the first one. I'm going to just take the first one. And this strength card, this came out for strength. And this mule is someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Okay. So this strength card could be a Leo. This could be a Leo. Because it's saying this mule, this, this strength card is a person. So on a negative side, what the strength card could also mean is someone being a bully. That's what this could, that strength could mean that too. It don't got to be in reverse for it to be a bully. In the upright, somebody could be, um, water signs, you could be bullying somebody or you're being bullied. But it say the strength card, like I said, it could be a Leo because this is the major arcana for Leo. Don't have to be a Leo though. Because for the strength card, this mule came out. And it says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Okay, so... Now that I know that, what that strength card talking about, like I said, water signs. I think this you right here. That's you, water signs. And I think you're intuitive and you know not to not to take this action, not to rush, because this person in this strength energy who's um stubborn, they could be trying to um get you to do something that benefits them that but won't benefit you. Because since I know that this strength card is possibly a, um, a stubborn person that could be, you know, low-key bullying you, this star card could be them having hope. They probably hope that if they, you know, bully you in some type of way or, like I said, low-key manipulation, bullying, that this star card could be them hoping that, that, that this tactic right here works. Because that star, like I said, that star card can mean hope. Or um, water signs, this could be you. This could be you healing from this um, energy, this strength in this mule from this stubborn person. This could be you healing. If this is not you healing, this is them hoping that this tactic work, this strength energy and that mule energy, that's them hoping. They hope it work because they want you to rush and do something for them. But it's going to benefit them. It's not going to benefit benefit you. But let me go ahead up to the top. Community. And this is what's going to be crowning your energy for Christmas Day. The bottom of the card says spiritual ancestors. So basically what this card is talking about. I'm just summarizing the book. What this community card is talking about is basically saying that your spiritual ancestors is... Leading and guiding you to your um your soul tribe here on the earth, basically. So that's just like your ancestors, the angels, leading and guiding you and nudging you to um what church to go to, something like that, or leading you and guiding you to some sort of community. But it's more or less uh, spiritually. So like I said, this could this card is saying like your soul family, your soul tribe. It may not have to be a physical church. It could be your soul tribe, your ancestors, the unseen, your unseen spiritual help is leading and guiding you to your, the spiritual help that you can see, basically. 
So this could be something simple as you on um, Facebook and you stumble across some type of um, Christian social group on Facebook. Something like that. Something that can, that's a soul connection. Like your spiritual, where you get your spiritual food, your spirituality, something like that. That's what this card is about because it's community. So if it's not a physical church or something like that, it could be, like I said, since we, you know, modern, you know, we live in this year 2020. So this could be something as simple. You stumbling across a, um, some type of Christian site, a, a youth organization, something pertaining to your spirituality, but it's a community it's of some sort. And I think you need it because water signs, there's two towers up here. I'm going to clarify it, but there's two towers up here. And the tower is uh, annoying. It could be low-key destructive, annoying, or it can be high, highly destructive, like a fatal car accident. So that's things the tower can mean. Um, what clarified community was tower. And like I said, this is the major arcana for the sign of Scorpio. This tower, like I said, if it's some a low key, because they don't always the tower don't gotta be nothing big like that. Um, I've put the tower card when I did a reading on myself and got like into a minor car accident. Somebody um bought my car. Something something unexpected. Like I've put the tower card when, like I said, if um um, like I said, I put the title card before when I got into a car accident, but the car accident wasn't nothing dramatic or nothing like that. It was, I mean, I would just, it wasn't nothing. It's somebody just bumped my car with their car. And, um, but the tower is unexpected. It could be something small or something big, but it's the key word about this tower is unexpected. So, this is here, and what Cleophyte Tower was, um, Queen of Pentacles. Now, this Queen of Pentacles is, um, Earth sign, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But this Queen of Pentacles can represent, like, your stability. Somebody that's loving, somebody have, that has children, she loves children, um, take care of home, she's very practical, you know, she's practical, it's, she got a pinnacle right there, that's, you know, so stuff like that, so what I'm getting is, um, water signs, you could be having something unexpected that's happening around your stability, something that's stable, whether it be your housing, it whether it's anything. It could be a job, but it's your stability. Cause the Queen of Pentacles, she's she's very stable. She's very stable. And um or water signs, if you're operating in this energy, this earth sign energy, you can have this in your chart. Or you just operating in this energy. And you could be being practical about this tower. You not acting like the knight, of, the knight of swords. You're being cool, calm, collective about this tower. You being mature. You being stable about this right here. That's what that can be. But I'm going to clarify it. I'm going to just go ahead and clarify both of them. Because it's two up here. Clarify the first tower. Clarify the tower. Yeah. These two just came out. Chair empty and apple. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. An apple. Temptation will test you. So that's what this first tower talking about. Clarify the second tower. Oop. Clarify the second tower. Let's the second tower. Mm. Marriage came out for that second tower. 
I'm gonna get to it. Before I get to that, I just wanted to say this. So, water signs, just, I'm just, this first tower, like I said, because it's two up here. So, this first tower has something to do with some type of temptation and somebody leaving your life. Somebody could be tempted to leave your life. I don't know exactly what that means. I might be able to get to the bottom of it. I might not. But when I asked for more information about that community card, the world came out. The world. Again, this is a major arcana. A major arcana. And the world could signify traveling. The world card can mean you're, you're done with one cycle or one aspect of your life, a cycle, something. And you're going to the next level. Or something is changing, but it's your, you're done. Something is done and you moving on to something else or something higher or something better. The world card can also signify success. It can signify some type of engagement, somebody proposing to you, things like that. This is what the world can symbolize. So, offhand, what I can say, something, because this world card can mean traveling. So, the fir this first tower could be you know, something as simple as your car acting up on Christmas Day. It could be something like that. Um, and you could be, you can be in this queen, queen of pentacles energy. Like, dang, my car, man, my car just stopped in the middle of the road. Let me do what I got to do. I'm not going to get mad, angry, fall out, just, you know, and I ain't going to let it mess up my Christmas day. That could be, that's how the queen of pentacles act, like. Or the Queen of Pentacles, your car messed up, you broke down the middle of the road, whatever, tower moment, but you got the money in the bank to, it ain't no big thing like that. I mean, it's annoying, but it ain't the end of the world because you, you got that money put up, Queen of Pentacles energy. You got some money put up to get your car back up and running within what? The next, what, four hours? Something like that. Because temptation will test you. This tower is a temptation and it's testing you. And it's about someone leaving your life. Someone leaving your life. The tower. I don't know why they're leaving. So I don't think it's the car situation. I don't think it's the car. Cause some that this first tower is saying somebody leaving your life or the signs you leaving or somebody else leaving. But anyway, the world is here. And what clarified the world was the this this, this the second tower, totally different deck, a second another tower. So water signs something. I don't think is nothing major. Like I said, this tower moment. I don't think it's nothing major like that. I think it's more or less of a, a you being annoyed. And it's a kind of a disappointment. Because from this bottom, this bottom half down here, that, that right here, with this mule, someone is extremely stubborn, unwilling to change and all this. This could be somebody on Christmas Day, you not letting them get their way and they leave. They leave. They could want something from you. They could want a couple of dollars. Maybe they want to borrow your car. They want something from you. And from the cards right here, you don't do it. You don't do it. Because it's like your intuition is like, uh -uh, don't do that. Don't rush and do that. Whatever this person want from you or want you to do, I don't think you do it. I don't think you're going to do it. So this person could be having a little temper tantrum. Because remember, they in this energy right here. Strength. And mule, stubborn. 
I don't think you're going to do it because they leaving. Now, whether it's for that day or forever, they're leaving. And, and I hope it's not, you know, like a death. But no, I think this person just want to... Is their way or the highway, basically. This chair, that strength car and that mule is their way or the highway. So you probably didn't get them their way and they leaving. And you don't want them to leave because you the queen of pentacles. You in this energy. That's why I think that is. Because this marriage card clarified this other tower. This marriage card clarified this second tower right here. So, this could be them proposing to you, them wanting their ring back. Something like that. Mommy. Literally, or you giving them the ring back. This is what this could be. Because it's a towel. What you want? Um, show your fire. What? Um, can you go in your room and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be done. Go in your room. Um, yeah, this could be something like that. Cause the tower moment, cause it's, it's like, I think what this could be is cause see the world is here. Like I said, this could be y'all going to the next level and the next level could have been marriage, but it's a tower moment around something going to the next level, something being closed out, somebody done. Okay, I, I propose to you. Okay, now let's get married. That's what the world is, would be. Okay, I propose. Okay, the next level, the world would be marriage after the proposal, the wedding. But it's a tower moment on this world card. Or like I said, this person could want to use your car or whatever. And you tell them no, towel moment. Marriage. It's something to do with marriage. It's a towel mo moment around a marriage. Now, either y'all was trying to get married or y'all y'all already married. There's either one. Either one. Let me clarify this community up here. Because water signs, if this is you in, in this need in this community energy, this uh, spiritual ancestors. This is what you're going to need if this is you. If this person is the type of person that have, if you're in a like a romantic something, uh, some, uh, some type of relationship. If this person have temper tantrums when you don't. Um, let them have their way. You might be, yeah, you might need a little bit of encouragement. You know, you might need some type of spiritual, um, you gonna need some community. Yeah, you might need some type of encouragement from, the, from your spirituality to, to deal with this person because me, I think this person just playing, they, 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 they playing games, they playing games and they was trying to get something from you, trying to rush you to do something and you was tempted to do it, but I don't think you did it. So they leaving. And like I said, you and this queen of pentacles energy, this queen of pentacles don't got time for this and she don't put up with it. The Queen of Pentacles don't put up no stuff like this. Strength, trying to bully somebody, and a mule, stubborn, aggressive person. Mm -mm. Yeah. And I really think water signs, you don't want them to leave. I, I, they, I, and I think they know that. Water signs, if this, if this is you right here... You either got an earth sign in your chart. You could have Capricorn somewhere in your birth chart. But you, this is, if this is you, you um, you handling the situation well. 
And that could be because of this right here. The, your spiritual community. Because this person down here is, uh-uh. They, like I said, they're having a temper tantrum. An adult <laughs> temper tantrum. That's why them two towels right there. They having a temper tantrum. Yeah, so that's what you can expect on Christmas Day. But let me go ahead and clarify community. My video might cut off, so it's, it's going to be a part two. But I'm trying to hurry up. I just glanced over there and seen this. This would have helped me. <laughs> I forgot that was over there. Yeah, someone is behaving stupidly. I Yep, yeah, that's what I said. This person playing games. They being real childish. And, and they just, they playing a the game. They playing games. And they just want their way. It's either their way or the highway. That's what I got. It's their way or the highway. That's why on Christmas Day, this person is causing you two tower moments. They doing it twice. There's two towers up here. Mm-hmm. And they gonna leave. Whether they leave for the day, for an hour, or they leave you, they just leave. But they're, mm, mm It ain't no loss for you. It ain't no loss for you. Clarify community. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Archway. This came out for community. Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't worry about it. it. Um, water signs. If somebody just somebody who if someone you're sleeping with is acting like you're a child, don't worry about it. That's basically how this person acting. And I think it is um a romantic situation. But archway came up for community. New opportunities, possibilities. Possibilities and paths opening up. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Because our archway is here. Yep. New opportunities. Possibilities. And paths opening, opening up. Mm -hmm. So this community. Whatever this community is. It's going to. I think is going to give you a new perspective. Or even, like I said, e even if you happen, happen to stumble across some type of spiritual community on Facebook, on YouTube, on something, this is an archway. It's a new opportunity. Possibilities and paths opening up. But it's a good thing, though, because it's your um, spiritual family. It's your soul tribe. People you were supposed to run into. Um, these are people you're supposed to meet for the, the for the for the benefit of your soul, your spirituality. These are people you're supposed to know and run into, whether it's for forever or just a season. Spiritual community. That's what this community this community is about. Whether it's an app or a, some, like I said. But let me go on over here for time's sake. Um, this turkey is here. This is what else spirit wants you to know. Turkey. Someone is behaving foolishly. So water signs. Spirit wants you to know that somebody is behaving foolishly. And I think you know that. Because they could be acting this way towards you. Um, well, clarify that turkey was six of water. A.K.A. six of cups. Now, this is something, something from your past or someone from your past. And it's usually, the six of cups in the upright is usually fond memories. Like, um, it's not a nightmare. <laughs> this is someone that you have good memories about. And um, that's why they call this card the nostalgia. Nostalgic, nostalgia. This is the, the nostalgia card. Like, reminiscing. You know, things like that. What clarified the six of water was this ten of swords. Now, this ten of swords is meant to come out. This ten of swords meant. This is meant to be. Whatever this ten of swords is, whether it was a past or whether this going to happen on Christmas Day, this ten of swords was meant to happen. 
because when I was shuffling before I started doing the video, my hands itching. Before I started doing the video, the Ten of Swords in this deck, in this deck came out. And when the Ten of Swords came out in this deck, it knocked this turkey right off the table. And knocked it, it knocked it out. But I put it back in the deck because sometimes I don't like when cards come out a certain way at a certain time. If I'm, mm -mm. so I put it back. But it came back out in a different deck because it was meant to be on this spread, on this board. And I'm going to clarify it. What is this Ten of Swords? Who or what is this Ten of Swords? Clarify the Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. Bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Do not back down from opposition. This could be two things. Because swords, this ten of swords is a pain. This ten of swords could mean a painful ending. It could mean a physical, literal death.